Welcome to Level Up Tribes. Level Up Tribes provides resources to help you attain the necessary resources to level up your mind, body, and soul and realize your full potential. It is about exploring, learning, providing you with the tools from the experts for you to create a better version of yourself. I am your host, Agnes Goodwine, and welcome tribes. Hello, beloveds. I hope you are all well and healthy as we begin this new year. 2021 is already smelling fresh of opportunities, hope, and renewed spirit. Let's continue to level up and become the best version of ourselves. Thank you for your patience and continued support. I took a little break after the holidays for some self-care, which is always good for the soul. Love you all, and please continue to share, leave reviews, feedback, and most importantly, subscribe to the show. On today's episode, I welcome Welcome back, my friend, lady boss of fitness, emotional eating expert, and fitness coach, Natasha Nache. She's joining us today to talk about her upcoming path to wellness program, a program to help women break free from the cycle of emotional eating and start losing weight, grow stronger, and get lean. Let's dive in. Welcome back to Level Up Tries podcast. I'm so excited to see you. Last time I saw you was during our podcast, which was um, last year in November, yes. right? And we were talking about the four key players of emotional eating, you know, yeah. and we're getting started, you know, 2020 was close by, you know, those intentions were coming in and like, okay, we're going to get healthy and here we oh, go. And oh, then gosh. boom, <laughs> right. And so I know you said, the rule in 2021 is not to talk about 2020. <laughs> yes, you saw that. <laughs> yes. I did. I did. However, <laughs> we got to go there, right? Okay, let's do it. <laughs> I learned so much. I don't know about you, but I learned so much about myself and where I want to go through 2020, right? Mm -hmm. It gave me that stillness that I really needed to sit back and reflect on and change, right? So what did 2020 bring for you? Huh. 2020 was interesting. 2020 brought hope for me. And I'll tell you, because running, being an entrepreneur is hard, right? It's extremely hard, but it brought so much hope that as long as in, in all entrepreneurs, everyone knows this, you, you put your head down and you work. But it, it brought hope to me in the sense that I can actually do this. You know, a lot of people suffer from the imposter syndrome. So for me, I, I was able to get through that. And it just 2020 just gave me that hope and that encouragement in myself that I got this. I got this. Let's talk about imposter syndrome because that's that's so big with anything that anyone wants to do. How what was your tool to overcome that? Or do we or do we ever overcome that imposter syndrome? I don't think we do. I really don't think we do. I think level by level you just increase your level of confidence and your belief in yourself. Um, because each new venture that you take on each day is a different day and it requires something of you, right? And it sometimes it requires you to pull from a different place in your mind and your emotions and it helps you or it, it requires you to find your grit. So I don't think that we ever truly get over it. I think that our, our confidence in ourselves increases and our beliefs in what we do, we're more grounded. We get even more grounded every time. But I think we really do go through imposter uh, syndrome at every new stage. Follow you on social media. And I have really enjoyed your videos and your optimism. Like, it just shows, like, you just never give up. You know what I mean? And you always <laughs> yes. have, you always have this project. And just looking back at your year, per se, you have done, you have revamped your website, first of all. Yes. Right? And your program, which I absolutely love. You have Thank done, you. you have done several podcasts. I mean, you have really like, mm -hmm. you went in in 2020. Yeah. Yeah. It, 2020 was amazing. Um, you know, I always, I, sometimes I feel bad when people are like, I hate 2020 and like <laughs> 2020 can go to hell. You know, <laughs> 2020 was fantastic for me. You know, um, yeah, like you said, I, I'd done so many podcasts, was featured as a speaker at an online conference, um, 
and you know, it's funny when I look at my vision board that I completed in 2019 for 2020, it was so, there were so many things on there that I just, I was able to cross off. And it's one of those things that it's like, it's manifestation. You, you put it out there and you really forget about it. And then things just manifest. And that, that was my 2020, just a year of manifestation. You know, it just, things just happen almost seamlessly. So, yeah. Oh, I love it for you. Sounds like you set your mindset of what you wanted to kind of accomplish. Is that the pre-work that you give to your clients? Is that the first stage of your program? Like setting that mindset first before anything gets started? Actually, the first step is purpose. So I help them find their purpose, you know, because each client is different, right? So everyone's purpose for working with me is different. Right. I have women who work with me who, you know, they they really want to lose weight. But there's, of course, some emotional issues. So we really have to figure out what their purpose for being in the program is, because we all want to lose weight. We all want to tone up. We all want to look great. But we have to find out what that purpose is so that we can make a deeper connection. Right. Mm -hmm. So once we're able to figure out that that purpose, then we make a deeper connection with the mind and then the emotions. So yeah, we start with complete purpose. Yeah. So the reason that I, I invited you today is to talk about the Path to Wellness program, the six-week program that you have yes. going on mm-hmm. right now. Yes. Can you talk about that a little bit? So yeah, so Path to Wellness, um, it's it's my baby. It's actually a program that was inspired by me actually on my path to (laughs) wellness. Um, And that's how I got the name. But yes, so path to wellness is actually an acronym. So path stands for purpose, accountability, thoughts, and healing. Okay. Mm. So again, the first stage of the program is purpose, Mm. right? And so accountability is really huge in the program. That's the second stage. And accountability is not me telling clients what to do. Accountability is me putting it out there. This is what needs to be done. And then us agreeing to getting it done. And I always tell my clients, when I say us agreeing to get it done, what I really mean is you. (laughs) When I say (laughs) us, I mean you. (laughs) Yes. So, but accountability is, is a partnership. Accountability isn't a dictatorship. It's a partnership. So that's the second stage, accountability. The third stage is the thoughts. You know, wherever the mind goes, the body follows. So we really have to rein in the thoughts and make sure that the thoughts and the purpose are constantly aligned. There's no misalignment in the thoughts and the purpose. And then the last stage is healing. Mm-hmm. You cannot heal or you cannot do anything in life without a healed mind and a heal perspective, right? So you have to come from a heal place. So I love just working with my ladies from a more holistic standpoint. Um, I'm a certified life coach, personal trainer, fitness nutritionist. So I love healing and working with the person in a more holistic standpoint. I love it. And I saw, and I could be wrong, but I think you have like 70 people already signed up for that program. Yes. So it was, where where did we end? 73 ladies, 73 ladies. Yeah. That's amazing. Yes. So excited. And it was one of those things where it's like, again, imposter syndrome, you know, I'm like, will I get that many people? What do I know about this? And you know, you, you always second guess yourself, but you put it out there and you put it out there with confidence and you just have to know, you know, but that imposter syndrome always creeps back up. So yeah, so I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, the ladies are in day five and actually I'm going to launch the program again, February, t- the last February, the last Monday in February, I believe it was February 24th, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, we're going to do it all over again. And yeah. so let me ask you, so are you meeting with everybody like weekly? So yes, yeah, so the program that's going to launch in February, because we're, we're going to do this party all over again, except for it's going to be 10 times better, right? So this one's more going to be an online course. Okay, so it's going to be a six week right. online course and they will get a sample meal plan because every person is different, right? Every person is different. So I can't give two people the same exact meal plan and expect the same results, right? So I'm going to give them a sample meal plan. However, each week we're going to have what I'm going to call a food fight. 
So what we're basically going to get on a Facebook. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. We're going to have a Friday food fight. And basically we're going to get online. I'm going to do a Facebook live and we're going to go through the nutrition, right? We're going to go through. And so whatever questions that they have, they're going to have this, this foundational meal plan. And so from there, we're going to get online. We're going to work out the meal plans for them individually. You know, what makes sense? What makes sense for people who are struggling with, you know, diabetes? What makes sense for someone who's, you know, struggling with, you know, allergies, food allergies? So we're going to get online and we're going to have a food fight. And so the purpose of that is to really help them understand what they need to eat for their bodies and then set them up for success so that by Monday, because everyone starts their new diet plan on a Monday, so that by every Monday, they yeah. already know what they're going to eat for that week. So they can go grocery shopping over the weekend. They can meal prep and do everything that they need to do after the Friday food fight call. And Monday, they're set up for success. They know what to expect from their meals and what they should do for their meals for the entire week for the following week. Oh, I love it. That's so awesome. yeah, so we're going to do meal plans. Um, and then we're going to do, <laughs> yes. And then we're going to do a weekly it's an educational slash life coaching session as well. So this one's going to be live. And it's just because anytime you're starting a new program of any type, it's hard, it's mental, it's emotional. So I'm literally going to be walking these ladies through their purpose and holding them accountable each and every week. And so it's it's a lot of me showing up on Facebook Live and really helping these ladies and really let's dig in. What do you need? Where do you need to go? But then staying structured, staying within the program, staying within the guidelines. We have this thing, I have this thing called mirror work, where it's going to allow them to dig deeper so that they can begin to uproot some of the issues yes. that they may be individually going through, right? And so that they can begin speaking better things over their mind, over their lives. Um, I was on the phone with a client the other day and one of my biggest things to her was, how often do you tell yourself you're beautiful? How mm. often do you go in the bathroom in the morning, wash your face, brush your teeth and say, you know what? I look damn good today. Uh, you don't. Most don't. women don't. We don't. This program is designed to help you reach your fitness and nutrition goals. But again, from a more holistic point where we're, we're helping you from the inside out. Because yeah. once we can get the mindset on board, everything else will fall into place, right? You'll start eating better. You'll start seeing yourself better. You'll start seeing life from a different and better perspective. So yeah, 100%. I'm excited. I'm so excited for the ladies who are joining. Yeah. Do you have a group of people uh, working with you, like a team, or are you just doing it this by yourself? The first round, I, what I'm doing is I'm actually going to solicit some brand ambassadors. <laughs> so, oh, I like that. Uh, yes. So I'm going to um, have at least seven brand ambassadors really mm. just help me get the word out. Right. Okay. And the brand ambassadors will pretty much help me get the word out. But then when it comes to the coaching, I love coaching my ladies. So yeah. right now, the first course launch is going to be me. Um, but I do have a team of people helping me with different things in the background, different administrative things. But when it comes to the coaching piece, um, yeah. that's my heart. That's my baby. Yeah. And so I know that at least by next year, I'm going to have to coach at least one or two other coaches to help me with these, you know, online courses, because I love my ladies and I want it done a certain way because you can't, these are people's lives, right? So you have to make sure that you care for their lives. So yeah, my, my ultimate vision is to have a team of people that can help me coach and yeah. get my ladies on track. So yes, absolutely. It takes a village sometimes, you know what I it mean? Does. You know, when you have a, a, a someone, a client, a lady or, or a guy, and something comes up so deep that is beyond you, right? Because you, you can only like help so much. And they actually need like professional counseling at that point. Is that something that you guide them to see that? Yes. You do? Okay. Yes. Yes. I know my boundaries, <laughs> you know? Um, so in that case, um, I have had one person that way yeah. and we really worked on, we really worked on affirmations, manifestations, but 
leading her to someone who can give her that level of help. Okay. So, and so we kind of worked from a dual standpoint as she was finding someone, um, we were still working together, just really helping with the mindset oh, and saying different things, like speaking different things over your life and manifesting. And that actually helped. And I, from what I know, from what I see from her Facebook page now, it's like, she's still doing the affirmations. She's still creating things to help herself. So yeah, yeah, it, it's tough, but you have to know your boundaries. Yes. Uh, you do an amazing work. You know, your heart is in the right place and you care, you know, and you always give us golden nuggets, you know, yeah. um, throughout the week <laughs> to kind of stay focused. So I'll be peeking. I'll be peeking in there. I'm like, okay, what, what, is, Natasha, what is Natasha talking about this week? And is, I have cut back on my hot fries. <sighs> Yeah, <laughs> I remember that was huge for you. <laughs> that was so big, girl. Oh now God. I see them, and I don't, I don't buy them anymore. You know what I mean? And it was, Good. it was, it was just that you know, kit comfort food that you just kind of yeah. get back to. Um, yeah. So yeah. So thank you for that one. Love it. <laughs> I know. So I know you're busy with this program, um, and it sounds like you know it's gonna hit very quickly for you, and you're gonna be busy. But you are always working on something in the background, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so what do you expect for you from you in 2021? Because I know there's something lurking back there. Oh my gosh. So <laughs> oh gosh, what's lurking? So the biggest thing is um going to be working on a webinar. So 2020, I have or 2021, let me say this, 2021, I have decided to only focus on a couple things. Um, because the course did so well this time, I want to relaunch the same course. I want to be able to help more women. So right now we have like 75 women in the course. Yeah. My goal, my end of the year goal is to reach and help at least 400 women through this course throughout this year. So I'm going to launch this course a few different times, at least three times, three additional times this year. And then um, I am actually working on a a workshop for um, emotional eating and food grief and helping people with food grief. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, I want to go to that. Yeah. So that sounds amazing. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Those are more. Yeah, those are my two you. big things this year. So, yeah, yeah. So not that many things, but just this year I decided to really just hone in and focus on what I know my ladies need and what they're craving. And those are my two focus, two points of focus this year. Yeah. What was some of the feedback that you got from your clients in 2020? You know, were they still active or? Um, there were it picked up a lot. My business definitely picked up a lot. Um, it was, it was a very trying time. Um, a lot of, I'm not generalizing, but I know a lot of women who struggle with emotional eating. Um, they also struggle with anxiety and depression. So there was one point I had a ton of clients and we really just focused on the anxiety and the depression and getting past that but um yeah we had a lot of heavy drinkers um a lot of sleeping um a lot of eating just whatever because if you think about it this is the first time in our history you know if you were born 60s and you know to today this is our first time in history where we've ever truly had 24-7 24-7 access to our kitchens. <laughs> and yes. we, right, right. And and we have to be in the house. So 24-7 access. And we didn't know how to maneuver this and be in this new life. So a lot of my ladies struggled, but it was mainly with, like I said, depression, anxiety. So in what form did that look like? Because in every client, it looks so different. And so for me, it was a matter of really paying attention and listening to those little things. So to paint the big picture to say, oh, I see what's happening right now. And then pivot from that 
point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was really hard, especially when we shut down for a little bit, and you know the gyms shut down and you couldn't go work out. You know, it it was definitely a different experience. Uh, for yeah, many of yeah. Us. Okay, well. But before we wrap it up and everything, I wanted you to give us, you know, our listeners advice as most of us are setting intentions um, for our wellness this year. What is your number one advice to whoever's listening out there that want to start their wellness program, whatever that might look like to them? Like, what is the first step and some other golden nuggets that you can think of? I would say the, the first thing is you kind of hinted to it whatever it may look like for them, okay? A lot of people think, okay, I'm going to lose weight. I got to go to the gym and I got to, you know, eat this and I can't eat this. And first, start out with a workout plan that works for you. Not everyone is meant to be in the gym. Not everyone likes to be in the gym, you know? Um, If you love Pilates, start there. If you like being outside, start there, but start with something that will work for you. Mm-hmm. A lot of times when we start to, you know, get on this health and wellness path, path, we follow what make what we think makes sense. But what actually makes sense are the workouts that work for us. So that's the first thing. Let's start working on, you know, exercising in a way that works for you and works for your schedule. Um, and then it's from there, it's adding on things incrementally. So let's say if you haven't been in the, in the gym for 10 or 11 months, yeah, start with two days a week. Start with two days a week, work yourself up to three. And then from there, start with the meals. You know, next, let's get the meals. You may not get it right seven days a week, and that's okay. Yeah. Start with one meal. Start with breakfast. You know what? This week, I'm just going to focus on eating this for breakfast. I'm going to focus on eating a healthy breakfast. I'm going to focus on getting 20 ounces of water instead of the 16.9 bottle, <laughs> right? So it's, it's, I always tell people, be gentle with yourself. Mm, I like that. Yeah. Be gentle with yourself and give your, give yourself permission to have a day one, mm. because by the time you get to day 35 or day 100, it will look completely different as long as you stay the course. And as long as you don't overwhelm yourself, it's all about adding things on in a bite-sized manner for what you can handle. Thank you. Is there anything else that you can think of that we haven't discussed today that you want to let the whole world know? (laughs) You know, the biggest thing for me is just look out for the second launch of the Path to Wellness online course. Um, It's going to be, it's actually February 22nd. I checked the date. So it's February 22nd. The online course will launch. Um, It's a six week online course. And that's kind of the biggest thing this year. So the Path to Wellness online course. And And what's the website again? It is called emotionaleatingadvice.com. Okay, wonderful. So check out Natasha. She's a wonderful coach. She will hold you accountable, but she's fun yes. too. So you make things fun. Yes. <laughs> yes. I am such a kid at heart, but I love it. <laughs> so life is too hard. You know, you got to laugh. You have to play. A hundred percent. Yes. So yes. besides your website, if you want to give out your social media account so people can find you there as well. Yeah. Perfect. So my Instagram and Facebook, they're exactly the same there. It's my name. It's Natasha Nache. So that's Natasha N-A-T-A-S-H-A. Nache is N-A-S-H-E-A. So Natasha Nache for Facebook and Instagram. And my private Facebook group is Break Free from Emotional Eating. And then for the Path to Wellness, those who will um, join me in the February 22nd launch of Path to Wellness, there's a private Facebook group called Path to Wellness. Go figure. <laughs> so, I love it. I wish you the best, Natasha. You're amazing. You know, I love your soul. I love your spirit, everything about you. And I'm always looking forward to seeing what you do next, girl. I because you're all you're on it. You're always on it. So yes. Yes. I hey, I got ladies to take care of. I love this. I, you know, I I was always tell everyone I spent 20 years in corporate finance and I never had a job that I liked. 
three years ago, I left and I, I left corporate America and I started doing this. And every day is such a blessing just to be able to touch someone's life in some way. And, you know, knowing that it's not about me, it's how can I be of service? And, you know, I used to hear people say that and I'm like, oh, that sounds so great, you know, <laughs> <laughs> But to actually live that life is, it's amazing. So yeah, I don't, I don't regret leaving corporate at all. In fact, sometimes I kick my butt and say, why didn't I do it sooner? But sooner wouldn't have, our paths wouldn't have crossed, right? My paths wouldn't have crossed. I wouldn't have been ready for some of the things, you know? So I'm just so excited. So yeah. Well, I'm excited for you. Thank you. Thank you for coming back on the show. Um, to listen to Natasha's um, previous episode with Level of Tribe podcast, that was episode 20. And she talks about the four key players of emotional eating, um, which was a great, you gave us some great tips, vitamins. Um, we discussed a lot on that one too. So um, yes, I love you, girl. You're doing amazing things love here you. in the Valley pretty soon in the whole world. So I know. You're going to take off. I just know it. Call it, girl. Let's <laughs> just call it. <laughs> yes. Claim it. Claim it. Thank well, you thank you time. so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Thank you for listening. Please visit the website at www.leveluptribes.com. And please subscribe to the podcast and share with your family and friends. Be sure to tune in to our next episode. Catch you all next time, my beloved tribes.